the general shape and size of the void, I've heard that it's estimated to be about the size of two semi-trucks. And so how close to accurate is that? Do we know? I think we would say that it's more than 50% likely that we would be looking at something which would be, say, 40 meters long by four by four meters. It would be equivalent, effectively, of finding a grand gallery above the grand gallery. Right. And for anybody who's been in the pyramid, you will realize what an impressive space, the, what an impressive volume the grand gallery is. It's almost like entering into a cathedral. And it's that sort of impressive volume. Even if it's just another grand gallery for whatever reason, again, it would be give a clue about the purpose of the galleries. But that's the sort of scale that we're looking at, and we can be fairly confident about that. And then the question is, would you find a similar space as the grand gallery, or would it be split up? into smaller spaces. It's unusual to have a long, sort of relatively narrow, relatively low height thing. Grand Gallery is one thing. One large tunnel wouldn't make a lot of sense, just a single large tunnel, so maybe split up into rooms. If they split up into rooms, that makes it even more interesting because then you say, if there were rooms that were planned to be in there, what, what might they be?